these past many months, we've all witnessed the impact of the pandemic on the way we interact, work, and get from point A to point B. I'm Lee Cito Canto, Managing Director of APGO Worldwide's headquarters in Washington, D.C. Here in the greater Washington region, like many major destinations throughout the country, business travel fuels not only the economy, but our pace of life, bringing to life our restaurants, hotels, and meeting points. As global travel restrictions continue to evolve, many of us wonder, what's next? To help us answer this question, we've partnered with the Greater Washington Board of Trade to host a series of conversations with some of the nation's leading voices within the travel ecosystem. Starting with Jack Potter of the Metro Washington Airport Authority and Elliot Ferguson of Destination DC, who offer unique perspectives on air travel and tourism right here in our nation's capital. We hope you find their conversations as insightful as we did. Well, initially, obviously, the, the challenge was to make our airport safe. So if you've been out there, you know we've done a lot with hand sanitizer, masks. Uh, you know, we made sure our employees were safe, plexiglass, the whole nine yards, extra cleaning uh, regimens, uh, antibacterial uh, handrails on escalators. Uh, and we continue to do that. You know, that's extremely important that people feel safe in, in the environment. And, uh, you know, that's first and foremost in terms of what our initial reaction was. Uh, but then, you know, part of our challenge has been how do we make sure that we were ready to jump right back in? Right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think we went through phases. First, we were in denial as we learned of COVID and what it was, what was happening internationally. And uh, then we went through a degree of fear. Um, and now we're in a phase of really focusing on the future as business opens up and looking at the things in which we've learned as a destination. And I'm kind of curious, as you looked at what you all have been able to accomplish uh, when things shut down in terms of maybe speeding up the, uh, the, the renovation and the, the expansion of the airport, how are you all looking at the future? What I'm expecting to happen is once these international routes start to come online, the first thing we're gonna see is families. You know, people want to get to Rome. They want to get. They want to get to Washington D.C. They want to go. You know, see the sights, get to New York City. So I think that's going to happen, and that's going to kind of lead the way for business. And I think business will, you know, be behind that. Uh, and uh, and certainly as conferences and conventions start to to come back online, that will drive a lot of that that business traffic back again. Now we all have to be concerned about what's the new normal, though, right? because we all have employees, right, that, you know, have gotten very comfortable working in a hybrid environment. They're very productive, by the way. I think there was this myth that you couldn't be productive if you were hybrid, but they're very productive. And so I don't think we're gonna get back to a situation where 100% of people are working in the office all the time. I think there'll be probably a couple days a week where they're, they're working from home. There'll be a lot more flexibility there. I don't know that that affects travel, though, because, the, you know, other than intra-corporation, because people have to go out and make sales and create relationships. And it's very hard to do that in a hybrid world. No, you're right. You're right. I think one of the key things we're hearing, and I've attended a lot of conferences. I we did our first international trip with Brand USA to London the week before last. I just attended a CEO summit that's talking about um, recovery, is that uh, the momentum is good. And that even though people are, there, there's a, a, a train of thought that hybrid is going to take over the need to meet face to face. And the reality is that that's not going to happen. There is going to probably be some things in which we've learned in terms of how we can utilize hybrid meetings and, and, and the technology moving forward with meetings. But people want to meet face to face. And we're all going to benefit from that. Um, and that demand is there. Well, let's face it, you go to a, a conference. A lot of the true business is done when you're grabbing a coffee or you're going to dinner with somebody. That's how relationships are formed. Absolutely. There's so many opportunities to, to excel and um, from an economic perspective for people to do better. We use, you know, uh, opportunities with the Board of Trade, with, with uh, COG, you know, Council of Governments and, and other entities in the area. We've, we've taken this opportunity to have a, a really good cross dialogue uh, amongst different industries that don't normally have a common challenge. Right. And the common challenge for all of us is, how do we get people back into the workplace safely? How do we attract people to downtown areas, to, to restaurants, 
so that we can get the, you know, the economic engine kind of kicked off. I'm, I'm extremely optimistic about the future. Uh, as I said, we've been working very hard over the course of the last 18 months through the height of the pandemic to accelerate construction so that we're ready for you know, the folks that we know are gonna visit the city, uh, whether it's business travelers or folks coming in for conventions or just plain old to see the, you know, their nation's capital. Uh, you know, we, we do take a, you know, we work together to promote the fact that, you know, whether it's internationally or domestically, you're coming to see, you know, the nation's capital, you're coming to the, you know, the heart of the country. Uh, and I think you, by the way, have made a great progress over the years in terms of changing kind of the, the picture of what people think about when they think about DC. It's not just a bunch of government buildings, it's communities, very vibrant communities, and it's a great place to visit. Uh, and so, I want to congratulate you on that. Thanks, Jack. It's been a pleasure talking to you, my friend. Yeah. Always Same here. good Same to see here. you. Thank you.